been super, super yeah. effective for himself. Also in terms of the late game scaling on Hecarim with that Cinder Hole. And if we're going to see the lane swap as well. Now, uh, TSM probably won't be looking to lane swap here. I don't think we'll see a lane swap simply because I don't like Urgot in lane swaps. And I, I see very, very few teams ever up to do that. Normally when they run like Alistar or Urgot together, they just sit and farm get the tier on Urgot, then they start being a bit of a bully, and then they take standard lanes instead of swapping the Urgot around. All right, and of course, tweet at us who you think is going to win. Try and kite him anyway. And pushing so far up in lane, too, without any sort of escape summoners makes him a little bit vulnerable, as Bengi may demonstrate right now. Coming through, Dyrus already low. There's a knockup. Dyrus in big trouble. First blood goes to SKT. Bengi, he was a bit too far up. And I don't know. I don't think this is going to end well for Hecarim. Looks like he's trying to get to the turret to maybe get an execute, but nope, no chance there. Just going to run right yeah. back in, and we're off to the race. As Hecarim, he's going to win like a one-man horse race, but in the end, he's still going to get taken out by SKT. There is two kills. Whoa! Thanks, Grunt, bro. <laughs> For, of course, that tier first, you have to wait to stack that up. Well, that's what threw me off, man. I mean, is that kind of gank? You really kind of need some ults for that. Oh, oh going to He's going to find Santorin right before the Dragon Pit. Looks like he's going to try to get over the wall. Not going to work, though. Oh, Chilling Smite, Santorin in a lot of trouble here. Lust oh! Midnight! Headbutting him back out of the Lantern! Wow! Twice, man. First, Bengi moves in front of the body slam to stop yeah. from getting over the wall, and then Wolf just follow Lost Boy off that here. Was sick. Headbutt him back. Well, and even then, Bengi had another oh, tunnel. They're going out a wild the turtle. turtle. Bengi there as well, too. Lost Boy in trouble in the back lines. Wild Turtle pulls in Lost Boy. There's a knockup. Dyrus comes in. Exhausts immediately on top of him, but Bang in trouble. There's a kill though for Wolf, though. A big melee in the bot lane. Wild Turtle still getting lower. Bengi, though, under threat. They'll get another kill. Dyrus manages to take down Wolf, but it looks like Marin and Wolf will be able to actually maybe finish off. Will they? Looks like Bang went down. Wolf knocks him away. No, they have. Dyrus is angry. Henry. He's smashing. He's coming back. Oh, man. A lot of action here in the end. Matchup and also Marin pulling it out. Oh, It's simply super again. good in the one-on-one. Santorin coming in, nice flash play, there's a box, bang, man just to get out. It looks like Wolf may be in trouble, meanwhile action in the mid lane, Bjergsen in a lot of trouble, Faker gets the kill with the Twin Fangs, meanwhile down in bot lane, looks like Wolf and Bang were able to escape successfully. So SKT managing to get a kill in mid finally. Look around this mid lane here. Oh, let's talk about oh, Asta, there's more action. Again. Look at that, bang, knock back out from under turret. Getting low, position reverser gives him a little extra tankiness. Is it enough? The dive still so Baker's powerful. Coming. Bang is still there. Here comes Bangy too. Bang is still alive. Glitz has a kill to get Bangy gets the kill on the Lust Boy. Meanwhile, Santorin forced away. I can't believe Bang is still alive. You know who's not going to be, though? Wild Turtle, goodbye. A double kill for Bangy. And Faker claims another victim. Santorin goes down in the jungle. Chase into his own jungle. Here comes Wolf from behind. He's got to be careful. He doesn't get caught here. Going to go on to Santorin anyway. This ball Lost Lost Boy headbutted into the red buff pit now. Faker. Oh boy. Lost Boy in a little bit of trouble. Drops that box, but I don't think it's going to save him. Just trying to delay to get the rest of his team involved. Faker still gets that kill on a rampage now. Bengi comes in. Chilling Smite onto Wild Turtle. Kalista in a lot of trouble. Headbutt pulverized onto Wild Turtle, and he'll get taken out. Bengi manages to pick up another kill. Bengi. And it looks like, unless Santorin can catch up, they may have to leave it at that. They've got the ult from Bjergsen to maybe help take this one. Bengi, though, on the run. Dyrus is going to teleport TP. back in. They're going to try to make a play here. He catches Marin and Bengi. Bengi goes down immediately. And Dyrus, he wants another one. A lot of damage onto Marin, but he becomes Meganar just in time. And I think he's going to keep going. Yeah, you don't want to get dove under turret with that. Dyrus proxy farming a bit, though, and that's going to prompt a teleport from Marin. Here come the home guards. He and the frozen mallet is completed. He's still got that red buff, too. Wow, flashing over the wall. Meanwhile, Boy, next side gets behind him. Faker coming in as well. Dyrus in big trouble. Marin may just go ahead and give this one over to Faker. We'll see. Marin, nope, takes it for himself. And then maybe you turn around and go for kill if someone drops low. But as long as there's full vision control, that's never going to happen. Yep. Looks like another dragon again, and meanwhile, Dyrus continues to get harassed by Marin in a little bit of trouble. Dyrus trying to escape. There's the Nar ult, another easy solo kill for Marin as Santorin comes to mourn the body. Saving his support there. They're still going for this they one, can. though. Wild Turtle is still really far. He's going to try and recall. He's oh, going to get 
Oh, oh, wrong part of the brush. Oh, he canceled his recall. Saw Bengi coming in in big trouble now, doing a lot of damage to Bang, though. Bengi manages to make something happen. Position reverser, and he gets out on the lantern. But there's Wolf right there, getting a bit bloodthirsty. Bang gets the kill anyway. And now Lust Boy with that exhaust on him is in a lot of trouble. SKT getting another easy kill. It's, thir it's 15 to 3 now. Bjergsen finally able to get the first turn of the game for TSM, but things are still really looking grim. I'm surprised to see TSM playing so recklessly in this game. They've been overextending time and time again. It's not characteristic of their play. Yeah. And when, we, when I think about TSM, kind of oh get into this as Bjergsen gets fouled oh, by Marin. Oh, man. Marin knew exactly where he went to, and Bjergsen's still in a lot of trouble. Tries to enlist some help from the Wolves, but they're not coming that far, man. They live in that little den. Another kill for Marin. And Dyrus continuing to try to take that top turret. Looks like he might be able to now, but... TSM has been such a methodical team over yeah. the course of the NALCS playoffs, and the risks that they're taking in this one are just getting punished oh, left and right. Oh, Dyrus. Well, we know how this one's going to end up. Marin gets another one. He's now 6-0-1 on this NAR, and you're right, I mean, about TSM. They've been so good, so methodical. Who's going to get CDR, who can just headbutt you away as well and completely stop the same thing from yep. happening oh, from boy, Dyrus. He turns around immediately onto TSM. Look at that nice headbutt pulverized Santorin trying to help his teammates escape. Lust Boy pulled over the wall by Wild Turtle, but SKT continues to chase. Wolf, can he get there in time? Bengi, they caught Wild Turtle. There's the position reverser, and there's a dead AD carry. And SK Telecom, oh, nice flash pulverized onto Bjergsen. He's in big trouble now as Bang comes in with a big damage. The ult does nearly nothing as Bang picks up the double kill Lost Boy trying to get back to the base but Bengi says no way I'm coming in there with you Santorin just hanging out right now checking out the Rek'Sai waiting for that tunnel cooldown there we go back out again on that one this Honestly, really you had the zig so you can slowly just sit and chip away the mid lane here we go Dyrus okay, tries yes. for a flank from behind he's the flank yeah on to Faker Faker takes a lot of damage actually gets very low nice land from Lost Boy can he do it Wolf coming in for the pulverized Lost Boy in a lot of trouble they do get Faker but now Marin comes over the wall there's a flash trying to take out the support meanwhile Dyrus on the run as well Bang took a lot of damage from the turret oh Bjergsen took him out with the ult but SKT still even without their carries is doing enough damage they're tanky enough the Double kill for Bengi, and SK Telecom just unstoppable at this point. Four kills, only Bjergsen making it out. It was a really good call by TSM, though, yeah. in the situation. Oh, there's the ace. It's the only call you can make. And yeah. had it been even they gold, that team fight could have been won by them by getting such a good engage. Oh, but they would have crushed it. They took the fight where Bang wasn't there to, to just stuff the flank immediately from the Hecarim. So they were actually were able to get onto Faker in that instance and take him out early. I think TSM had the right idea. That's about it for him, honestly. And you already have the Zig, so that shouldn't be your priority. Right. For, for Team Solo mid. Bjergsen with the loot and take off. He's just trying to maximize whatever damage he can get from that Q. If he does and a full rotation go. of spells. Yeah, coming in, there's That's an Aka Bond Wolf. Looks like they caught him. Bengi coming in. Wolf still very, very tanky. Tyrus ults. He does manage to connect with Faker, but now he's on his own with Faker. I don't think you want to be there. Meanwhile, the rest of SKT has invaded the base. Tyrus still running from Faker. Looks like he might escape. Will the poison be enough? Meanwhile, Lust Boy goes down in the mid lane. And Marin still putting all that pressure on the bot. And will Faker actually find Dyrus? I think he will. Oh, no. Stealing Baron, calling it right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You call it, Fischio. I'm holding you to this. Oh, yeah. Marin coming in. You don't expect them to come from your own base, do you? Bengi in a little bit of trouble, or Bjergsen rather. Marin, look at how tanky is, just kind of 1v4ing at this point. Bjergsen getting so low out of the fight already. Marin still chasing. He's about to go Meganar. Bjergsen dodges the building, and Marin ults him for the kill. <laughs> Bang comes in. There's just nothing that TSM can do against SK Telecom. There goes the inhibitor, and SKT, they want to try to get the win here. Will they be able to do it without one carry on TSM? Looks like it might be easy. There goes the first Nexus turret. TSM, perhaps a desperation fight, or will they just let the base go down? Dyrus trying to swing around the outside here, but second Nexus turret gets taken down. Now the Nexus being taken out as well, and SK Telecom with a dominating victory over Team Solo Mid, GG. And this was really the playstyle SK Telecom has used back in Korea so effectively. Yeah. Same exact game plan. Complete control of the bottom side map.